guys, Dan here. Today I'm going to show you how to just install the web browser plugin for OBS. I think originally it's called the CLR plugin. Um, I th correct me if I'm not wrong, I think it's the CLR plugin, but it's also known as the browser plugin for open broadcaster software. But this isn't any old plugin for OBS, this is the multi platform edition. Therefore, you can use it on the newer version of OBS, which is multi platform. Um, so if you. I was gonna say if you don't know what uh, like multi platform is, then, but obviously that's the reason you, you know because you clicked on the video. Um, so the first thing you wanna do is click on the first the link in description. Uh, I'm gonna quickly go there now. Uh, I'm gonna sorry I'm gonna drag this to my uh, other monitor. Now I'm gonna go straight here, go to the forum, and then I'm simply gonna click this. Sorry I didn't get this set up before. So as, as you see the browser plugin. Um, and uh, it, you'll be sent straight here. Um, you want to simply go down to Windows and click Download Latest. If you're on Mac, there's a nice little tutorial here. And if you, yeah, so that, that's cool. Um, I've, I've already got the file. Uh, I'm really definite. Yeah, I've got the file already, but you can simply click that, it will download. You need 7-zip or WinRAR to open this archive. Um, so, yeah, 7-zip, in my opinion, isn't better. But it's free forever, so I'm nearly definite that's that's the um, the case anyway. So the first, yeah, so when you, once you get seven zip or WinRAR, if you haven't already got it, you open the archive and you drag the OBS plugins to your desktop just to make it easier to access. Um, and now that's there, I'm gonna drag that where I can see it properly. You you simply right click OBS from your desktop. If you haven't got it for, on your desktop. Um, in fact, you know what? I'm going to show you the the manual way because you may not have it on your desktop. So you go to PC, uh, you go to your local to C, you go to Program Files 86. If you're on 32-bit, you just go to Program Files. Uh, but I'm guessing most cases everybody's on 64-bit because it's 32-bit's uh, way outdated now. Um, and you find um, where is it? Okay, so you find OBS Studio, which I think I just passed, but I believe OBS Studio. Go into there, drag this to the side, open the archive, and then drag OBS plugins straight to the root of the folder, straight to the root of the program folder. Um, and then you replace the files in the destination. Uh, yep, yeah, give it permission. Boom, done. And it's literally, guys, as simple as that. Now you simply open OBS. Um, right click on the sources, add, browser source, here we go, boom, put the, have I got it, have I already got it, uh, no sorry, um, and then you basically put, now this is mostly used for Twitch alerts, so if you've got the Twitch alerts URL, um, I'm actually going to go get mine now, right, so now I've got my um, alert box URL, um, I can simply paste that in there, now I'm probably going to blur this out for you guys, because I think it's like a, it's like a personal code, um, I'm not sure though, um, so you basically now you basically put the Twitch alerts um, link in. You press OK. Uh, you pretty much everybody's probably going to be here just because they want the Twitch alerts. Uh, I don't know what else this is used for really, but uh, it's most handy with Twitch alerts. Now, if I quickly go back to Twitch alerts, um, okay, so I've got Twitch alerts on my second monitor, and now I'm just going to test it. So someone follows the channel. This is what's going to happen. Boom! Their name's gonna follow. It's, their name's gonna come up, and it's gonna say so and so is following. You can change the the size of it, and now on Twitch alerts, you can manually change how big the text is, colours, all that kind of cool stuff. Um, so yeah, that's literally it. Uh, look, so subscription. Uh, we have a donation. There's someone host you. It's so cool. Um, so if this tutorial did work, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials and gameplay and let's plays and all that cool and the cool stuff. Thanks for 127 subscribers. That may go up, they may go down. Um, if you don't jump to conclusions and dislike the video, um, obviously haters are gonna hate. But if if there is a problem just go ahead and put it in the comments before you dislike because there's probably a 95% chance I'll be able to help you because you know I'm, I'm pretty good with this type of stuff I'm not a pro but I kind of know what I'm doing so yeah like I said did enjoy the video be sure to hit that like button and for now guys take it easy